Chrome Developer Tools is a set of web development tools built into the Google Chrome browser. It provides a comprehensive set of features that allow developers to inspect, debug, and optimize web pages and web applications. Chrome DevTools is accessible from the browser's main menu or by pressing the F12 key and it opens as a separate panel within the browser. In this video, we're going to explore and learn more about Chrome Developer Tools and how we can use its mammoth features to enhance our coding life. Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. My name is Kutla. My job is to make coding better for you so you can build your dream applications with ease and get your dream job in coding. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, then subscribe to my channel, like this video, and feel free to interact with me on the comment section. Now it goes without saying that in order to use Chrome developer tools, then you actually need to use the Chrome browser. But Firefox has also a set of tools that are much similar to Chrome Dev tools. But for this tutorial, I highly recommend that you use the Chrome browser in order to understand some of the features that we're going to be talking about in today's tutorial. Now in order to access Chrome developer tools, maybe we're actually going to be using our website, uh, kutlasec.xyz, in order to learn more about our Chrome Dev tools. In order to access Chrome Dev have tools like I said you can either press F12 or you can come over here in this three dot menu and go to settings sorry you go to more tools and then whilst you add more tools you can press developer tools the other way that you can also do it is by uh, pressing Control shift and I at the same time so these are some of the tools or these are some of the features inside of all inside of our Chrome DevTools. And we're gonna go through each of these individual features in order to learn a little bit about them. Now this, as you already know, because in our previous video, we talked about Google Lighthouse. Um, it is a feature in Chrome DevTools that allows us to um, learn more about the performance of our website and learn how we can improve our website's performance. But before we get fully into that, First, what we need to do is to start over here in Google Elements. I mean, sorry, the Elements panel. So this panel allows uh, developers to inspect and edit the HTML and CSS of a web page, view and modify the styles and interact with the document object model or the DOM. The Elements page also receives a real-time view of the page as it is rendered in the browser. So you can go through each of those elements and actually inspect what is written. Uh, you can inspect your uh, your code live without uh, having to be to go back to your code editor. So imagine this. Imagine you're working on a web page and you notice that the layout of the page is not rendering correctly or it's not rendering according to how you wanted it to render. So you can use the elements panel to inspect the HTML and the CSS code of the page and make adjustments to the layout in real time. So what this means is that whatever you're going to put in here is actually going to be executed uh, in real time in your browser. So I'm just going to try to find something that we can edit. Uh, maybe let's try to edit this hero section over here. I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and find this part over here. So I'm going to try and change that get live one on one coding help and mentorship. So I'm probably going to change this. I'm going to say coding help coding assignments help I don't know if that makes sense and yeah mentorship like that and then I'm going to press OK and you can see that whatever we put inside of this element panel directly directly reflects in our browser so this it actually provides an opportunity for you to inspect your HTML and make real-time changes to your HTML. And now let's go to our console page. Now the console page, uh, sorry, the console panel is quite important because it provides a command line interface for executing JavaScript code. It also allows developers to log information and debug JavaScript code. The console panel is a valuable tool for troubleshooting issues and testing code snippets. What you can also actually do in the console uh, panel, you can actually write or render real-time JavaScript. So I can just put over here and I can say, hello world, and my JavaScript is going to be executed as such. 
so you can run your JavaScript in here. So it is very, very important for debugging, like I've already mentioned. Suppose you're working on a web application that has a JavaScript bug that is causing errors in the code. You can use the console panel to log information about the code and debug the issue in real time. For example, you can use the console log as I just did, uh, the console log method to output values or variables to the console, or you can use the console.trace method to output a stack trace of the code execution. Now the other feature that we're going to talk about is the sources feature. Now I'm only going to talk about a few of them that are really, really important. So the sources panel uh, allows developers to debug and profile JavaScript code, set breakpoints and inspect the call stack. The sources panel also provides a comprehensive set of debugging tools such as conditional breakpoints, watch expressions and code stepping. So if you are familiar with the debugger, this section over here called sources, this is where you implement your debugger. You can actually step into your JavaScript code. So for example, if we wanted to, we can implement a breakpoint somewhere here, and this will allow the code to execute up until this point over here so that we can really get into our code and inspect uh, our code and figure out what could be the problem or learn more about the bug that we're trying to uh, find a solution to. So the, the source panel is very, very important for that. So now imagine Imagine you're working on a complex JavaScript application that has several different modules and functions. You can use the sources panel to debug the code, set breakpoints, and inspect the call stack. For example, you can set a breakpoint at a specific line, like I just said, like I just showed you, and then use the debugger to step through the code line, to step through the code line by line, examining the values of variables and objects along the way. Now, if you're interested in me actually doing a debugger tutorial, please mention it in the comment section and I'll make sure that in the coming videos, in some of the videos that are coming out, I'll make sure to include a video whereby I explain how to use the debugger because this topic is very uh, integrated and it has so many elements to it. I cannot cover most of it in this one video. Now let's go, in, let's go into the network panel. It's one of the most important parts of our, um, uh, our features uh, inside of Chrome uh, Dev Tools. Now this panel, allows, this panel allows developers to monitor and analyze network activity, including HTTP requests and responses, and measure the performance of a web page. The network panel also provides tools for analyzing the size and timing of resources, as well as identifying and di diagnosing performance issues. So let's take, for example, look at this um, image over here. This is the time it took for us to actually load this image into our website. That's 22 uh, milliseconds. So sometimes there are some images that take quite a while to actually load or render. Uh, an image can take about 10 seconds. So if you have an image that is taking about 10 seconds in order to, uh, uh, to load, then you actually know that you might have a problem. So this is whereby you inspect uh, the network activity. If you have um, HTTP request, you can come over, you can click to fetch XHR. Let me actually uh, navigate to a website that is going to allow us to look at each of these individual issues and analyze the network activity for each of them. So I've resorted to the Google website in order to see a little bit more about the networking panel. So you can see these are all the elements. Um, these are all the elements that are included in our networking panel. So what it essentially does, it measures the amount of time it takes for all those elements to load. It also gives you the size of those individual elements. Uh, it also gives you those elements and the, the HTTP status of those individual elements. So we can also see the amount of like, uh, we, yeah, we can uh, go into the, each of those elements and actually see more information about them and see the time it took for all of them to be loaded. You can see, I think the most that an element took uh, to, to load was this manifest that took over 683 milliseconds. So if you have a website like this, which takes about 
uh, 59.45 seconds to load its resources, then you have a, I think, a very fairly good website. And if you have, if the DOM content is loaded within three seconds, then you have a, a fully, um, a good functioning uh, website in terms of performance. Once again, on the networking panel, you can like separate each of those elements. Uh, so that you can just look at them individually. So you can see this is our HTTP. Uh, all our HTTP requests are in here. We can look at them individually and inspect them individually and just see how each of them perform when it comes to performance. We can also separate the JavaScript files and separate the CSS files. So we the image files, the media files, and so many other things. So that is uh, it about the networking panel. Let me know once again in the comment section if you want to go a little bit more into learning about the networking panel because this is very, very important for performance uh, and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So the last thing that we're actually going to look at, um, actually not the last thing, uh, the next thing that we're going to look at is the um, performance panel. Okay, let's go to the performance panel over here. So what does the performance panel actually do? So imagine you're working on a web page that has a slow rendering time and you want to optimize the performance of the page. You can use the performance panel to profile the performance of the page and identify any areas that are causing a slow rendering time. For example, you can examine the timeline the timeline of events, measure the time to first paint and time to interactive and identify any long running script. So in essence, the performance panel allows developers to profile the performance of a website, including loading time, resource usage, rendering performance. The performance panel also provides a detailed timeline of events and a summary of performance metrics. So this is uh, related to um, the, the Google Lighthouse uh, tool that we learned about in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, be sure to check it out. But let's move now to the security panel. This panel allows developers to analyze, in essence, the security of a web page, including the use of HTTPS, mixed content, and third-party cookies. The security panel also provides a set of diagnostic tools for identifying and fixing security tools. Basically, it just like gives you the best practice or recommendations on how to improve your the security of your website. So you can see that here it was analyzing the, um, the certificate, the SSL certificate for our website, and it's telling us that this page is secure. It has a valid SSL certificate, and it also checks uh, many other uh, security issues as well uh, to ensure that everything aligns uh, to the best uh, practices when it comes to cybersecurity. So you might be working on a web page that uses HTTPS, but you're getting a warning message in the browser. This happens a lot, especially if you're a developer, you create a web page and you give it an SSL certificate, and yet you're being warned that uh, the browser that we're using um, it does not have a, an SSL certificate. You can use the security panel to identify and diagnose any security issues on the page and make sure that all resources are being loaded over the HTTPS. You can examine the security and the status of your page, identify any mixed content issues and fix any security warnings. Now, lastly, we're going to talk about the application panel. Now imagine you're working on a web application that uses cookies or local storage to store user data. You can use the application panel to inspect and modify the data that is stored in the cookies or local storage. For example, you can examine the values of the cookies, clear and delete cookies, or modify the data that is stored inside of the local storage. So this is your local storage here. You can Actually, um, I don't know if you can put, yeah, you can put values in here. You can say maybe let's say name and then you can put like that. So now your local storage has um, this name over here. And if we had a button over here that was able to access this local storage pair, we will be able to be given the value of that um, of that pair that we've just created. So you can see that not only can you um, add um, key pairs or values to your local storage, 
through code, you can actually also do it in your applications panel. You can add as many as you want. You can add them to your local storage. You can also add them to your session storage. And once again, you can add items once again to your cookies uh, over here. So let's go and inspect the Google um, website as well and see what cookies, uh, what local storage do they have. So you can see these are some of the uh, variables or items that are inside of our local storage. And we can also see that we have, um, I, I guess this is a random ID um, that belongs to us. And let's go to our cookies and see what is inside the cookies of our Google page. You can see these are the items that are stored inside of our cookies. So whenever a page says um, it's storing information, it's capturing information and put it, putting it inside of your your cookies, you can actually go to the application panel and check what uh, information is being put inside of those cookies and inside of those local storage. So it's very important that you do so. You can inspect the cookies, you can modify the cookies. On that note, let me conclude by saying that Chrome Developer Tools is a powerful set of tools uh, that can help developers improve the performance, security, and user experience of their web pages and web applications. It is also a valuable tool for troubleshooting and debugging issues that may arise during the development process. Thank you very much for watching this video. If there's anything that you would like me to do separately on a separate video, please make sure you comment in the comment section what part of this video you would like me to expand more in another video. So. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure that you have to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe, like this video. And once again, leave a comment in the comment section so that we can interact with each other. This is the part where I get to answer all your questions and yeah, let you know on anything that you want to know about either me or about the channel or coding in general. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.